بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخن الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. Now Lana at home, I'm sure you have listened and memorized the surah. Now I want us to learn the basic meaning of surah and nas. And before we do that, let us let me take you through some. Keywords. The first keyword we, we are going to meet in Surah An Nas is the word Nas. What does Nas mean? Nas means people as human beings. Nas means people. Another keyword we are going to meet in this Surah is Allah. You remember the verse? Nas. The word Ilah means God. The word Ilah means God. Ilah is Nas. The other word we are going to meet in Surah Nas is Rab. Rab means Lord. Lord. Allah is still the Lord of all human beings and all the creatures which are in this world. Now, let us go verse by verse to look or to learn the basic meaning of Suratul Nas. What is the verse for us? Okay, let us start with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. The verse number one of Suratul Nas. Kul a'udhu bi Nas. Can you repeat that? Kul a'udhu bi Nas. What does that mean? That means I take refuge in the Lord of the world, the mankind. I take refuge in the Lord of mankind. Ilah in Nas. What does Ilah mean? Ilah means the Lord of all mankind. Now we have said Kul Aodu Birabin Nas. Malikin Nas. Malikin Nas means the king of people. Ilah in Nas. Ilah means the God of people. Min Sharil was wasil hannas. Min Sharil was wasil hannas. From the evil of the whisperer. Whisperer are those people who do bad things, who harm others when they are not aware. The witch, the witch, the witches and the magicians. They are the ones who harm people and also. People, the, the shaitan, the shaitan is the one who whispers to man and makes man do bad deeds. Like he can whisper to you and tell, make you not to pray. So we have said, Kul a'udhu bi rabbin say, I take refuge from the Lord of the people. Malikin nas, the king of people. Ilahin nas, the god of people. Me sharil was was nas. From the evil of the whisperer. Those whisperer, I told you, are the people who do bad things to other people and harm them. And it also includes shaitan. Shaitan always whispers into, to us to make us do bad things like to delay swaram. Let's read, read again up to there. Kul a'udhu bilabin nas, malikin nas, ilain nas, min sharil waswasil khan nas. Allah you was wisu fi sudurin nas. The people who whisper inside our hearts and make us do bad deeds. Shaitan is always whispering into our hearts. If maybe your mom uh, put some money and then she went to work, Shaitan will whisper to you, go to your mama's room and steal that money. Then go and buy chocolate or whichever stuff you want from the shop without your mother. Knowing that is a whisperer from Shaitan. Maybe 
your deskmate desk has a very good or a nice pen or storybook. During break time, Shaitan whispers into your heart and tells you, go and steal that storybook and own it and you keep it at home as yours. So when your classmate come, comes back or your deskmate comes back, they find that their storybook is missing. It is you who has taken their storybook and Shaitan has whispered into you. Let's continue about the basic meaning of Suratul Anas in our next